In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing my art journey, how I got started. So I've got my coffee and if you're new to my channel, my name's Carly and I draw on the iPad on Procreate and I'm a self-taught artist living in Australia. I am originally from the UK. Um, I used to have an old channel not too long ago, but I actually ended up losing it all, all the, all the content went and I did have an art journey video already uploaded. Um, so I'm refilming it now. So I hope you find this video inspiring or encouraging to like get started in your own journey. So I will just have a sip of my coffee. So a quick overview of growing up. I was a very creative child. I used to draw, paint and make things all the time. Through my teenage years and like 20s, I would get inspiration to draw sometime and I would just get my sketchbook out. I would Google Disney, or cartoon characters or like celebrities and just copy them from the picture. And so yeah, in my life I've kind of did loads of different jobs trying to find out what I wanted to do. I went to college, I did beauty at college and I did an air cabin crew course and then I my latest one in life was personal training and nutrition course. But none of these really stuck. I've been that kind of person who's never really known where I wanted to go in life. I've never had a good career path. So yeah, in 2017, I met my partner who's Australian and so I moved to Australia in December of that year. So when I left the UK, I left my hotel reception job, which I was in for quite a while. I did actually quite enjoy that, but um, I came here and I just had to find something. So I, I went for an office reception job and I started to really think about my life. Like I can't just keep getting these mean mean lists. I don't know if I'm saying that weird jobs so I thought about it like what do I really want to do like got to figure something out and I just knew that I wanted to be creative in some way so I thought that graphic design and web design was like the only way to go um, so I decided to buy an online course whilst I was at this full-time job here is my certificate <laughs> I finally passed it though so I am proud of that although this hasn't like helped me in any way on my journey <laughs> I decided to try and find videos to like help me learn as well I came across Skillshare and that's when I started watching graphic design and web design classes on there and I opened up Instagram to offer my services but this is the exciting bit because this is where it all changed for me. <laughs> so I was on Skillshare, you know, learning my web design which I didn't actually deep down want to do. Oh and by the way I did forget to mention one thing, I did almost go for a graphics course out of college uh, about five or six years before I moved to Australia. So this was actually before the personal training course I took and I actually put together a whole portfolio for it which you had to send before applying and they did approve it so I could have applied but I didn't end up applying. I think it was just because it was too far away, it was a lot of money and because I wasn't like 100% on being a graphic designer I just felt like it maybe wouldn't be worth the investment you know so I just left it but yeah anyway back to where we are so <laughs> I was scrolling on Skillshare learning my web design stuff and randomly in the middle of, um, of all the videos a surface pattern design video popped up I put the picture here um, it was from an artist Elizabeth Owen when I saw this video I thought what is that all about I wanted to click on it but I just felt like no just concentrate on your web design stuff so I carried on and then it was either the same day or the next day it popped up again I ignored it and then it popped up for a third time and I was like look I just have to click on this video and see what this is about it's like it's calling me <laughs> so as soon as I clicked on it this girl was talking about how she makes money from drawing patterns and putting them on products and that's her career and I was absolutely mind blown <laughs> it was like a life-changing moment for me because this whole new world opened up a world I never knew existed I never knew you could draw and make money from it so as soon as I watched that video, a few others popped up. So I started watching other classes and I was so excited by the fact that these people were talking about making money from drawing and I suddenly went straight off of this web design plan. <laughs> I was like, no, I want to do drawing now. So I started to post illustrations onto Instagram and at the start I was just using pencils and watercolor. I went out and bought some supplies and some sketchbooks and I just started practicing and I was doing it every day. I was watching these classes and learning. And then me and my partner went to Ikea and he helped to put together a desk for me in the spare room of the house we were in. So I kind of started to set up my own little art space and yeah, the journey just kind of expanded from there. So this was all in 2019 and June of that year, I actually got the iPad 
sixth generation for my birthday. So from then I was sort of doing digital art and some watercolour still. I was kind of doing both. Then I got my first ever commission in September of that year. I definitely didn't think I was like, I'll put a picture here. This is how bad I was at drawing. <laughs> but for some reason, this girl wanted me to do a portrait drawing. So yeah, don't ever doubt yourself and your skills, by the way. And then I got a few other commissions along with my first children's book as well, which is this one here. They actually sent me out a copy, so that was pretty cool. Pretty small one, but it's just like about a koala in a tree and the girl saves it. So within this year, I actually lost my job at the office I was in because the company shut down. So I found myself a cleaning job. I also started teaching Chinese kids English online. So I was kind of doing these two part-time things, as well as I started to get a lot of commissions coming in through the mid 2020. So by July 2020, I was booked out with commissions. I think this was kind of to do with the pandemic hitting actually, because it didn't stay like that. It did definitely die down after a few months. Um, but then I managed to get um, some children's books through some self publishers. And I worked with one that wanted like a series of books. So that kept me going. So yeah, by the way, I lost my cleaning job because of the pandemic and also the kids' classes, they quietened down so much that I just stopped doing them. And I focused on all the commissions that were coming in and my Etsy shop. And then rolling into 2021, I uploaded my first ever Skillshare class. I'd wanted to join Skillshare as a teacher right at the start of my journey, but a few times I tried to do it. I've tried to plan a class and it just didn't work. I just didn't have any confidence in myself and I just felt like it was too early still. So I kept waiting it out. But yeah, I finally pushed myself and so far I have five classes on there. So if you want to check any out, I'll leave the link below. You can also get a free trial for one month as well if you use my link, by the way. So since then, I have been lucky enough to work from home doing this which is amazing, but it's definitely been ups and downs. It's not been like smooth sailing and it's definitely had some hard times. But I am in process of like planning for the next year and making some new kind of goals and stuff like that. So I'm very excited. I'm gonna talk about it on my Patreon podcast um, in a few days time actually. But yeah, that's been my journey and that's how I got started. And you can ask any questions if you want in the comments and find more behind the scenes of my business and how it's going and all the kind of extra stuff I don't share anywhere else, plus tutorials as well. That's all on my Patreon page if you want to join, the link's below. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope this has inspired you and I'll see you all in another one soon. Bye!